The search for a gunman continues after a frenzy at a football game left a 16 year old dead and several more injured. In all, three people were shot at Friday's Dell City Choctaw game, one of them by a police officer. News Nine's Chris Yu live tonight at Choctaw High School with the very latest. Chris. Yeah, Carl, Bill Jensen Field here at Charlton High School has been cleared up, but what remains unclear is who shot and killed 16-year-old Corday Carter at that Friday night football game. The Choctaw Police Department says officers continue to search for the gunman. Meanwhile, the sheriff's office says they are also continuing to investigate that officer-involved shooting that happened here as well. A sheriff's spokesperson says that they are talking with a man who was at the game, but they are urging anyone else who saw something to step forward. To recap what happened, Choctaw police say during the third quarter of the game between Choctaw High School and Dell City High School, someone fired shots on the visitor side of the field. We'll take a time out. Be back. You can hear what sounded like more gunshots as people scrambled off the field. Choctaw police say an argument between at least two males led to the shooting. And the person killed has been identified by family as 16-year-old Corday Carter. Police say two other people were also shot, including a 15-year-old girl who was hit in the thigh. It's unclear who shot her. Meanwhile, investigators say a Dell City officer who was working off-duty security for Middell Schools shot a 42-year-old man in the chest. He was in critical condition at last check. Carter's family says the 42-year-old man shot by the officer was trying to help break up the fight, but investigators have not confirmed that info. The Oklahoma County Sheriff says the officer opened fire because he perceived a threat, but the sheriff did not elaborate. Meanwhile, Choctaw Police Chief Kelly Marshall shared her thoughts. This is not going to divide our cities. You know, if anything, it'll bring our cities closer together. Uh, this isn't us against them. This isn't a time to fall apart. This is a time to come together, and I, I know that's happening. Choctaw Police and the Sheriff's Office both say they don't have any further updates at this time. In the meantime, we filed an open records request for the Choctaw Police Department's incident report. Furthermore, the Sheriff's Office spokesperson says he's working to send us 911 calls as well as body cam footage from Friday night. Live in Choctaw, Chris Hugh, Oklahoma's own News 9.